Hello, welcome to Nourish Technologies. This is Sudha Sharma. So, in our previous video sessions of MBC, we discussed about uh, action results. Uh, till now, we learnt about working with view result and uh, partial view result. These are the two action results we already discussed. So, if you are new to this session, you can please go through the vi previous video sessions where we discussed about view result and partial view result. Now, in this session, we are going to discuss about all other various types of action results available in MVC. Let us see what are all the other action results in MVC. So, after understanding view result and partial view result, next important we are having a JSON result. So, JSON result is actually an action result. So, it represents it represents a base class, a base class that returns that returns JSON formatted content, JSON formatted content to response. So, JSON result is an action result in MVC which is used to send JSON formatted content to the response. So, if uh, you are working with uh, several services and the services are providing you the data, usually services will provide the data in XML and JSON form. You have MVC application data, so which we need to provide to several other applications, then better to send the data in JSON form, so that any client that can understand JSON can use your data. So, how do we create an action result in MVC, so that it can return JSON formatted content to the response. Let us see one example for that. So, the main intention is create an action result, create an action method, so that the MVC data is converted into a JSON form and sent to the response. So, I am adding here a new model class. I am adding a new model class in the project. I will make the class name as a product and this product class is having some members like int product id get set and it is having a string name get set and we have decimal so price so get set so i just created a product type and uh, the product type have three members the product id name and price okay let's add a controller now i am adding a new controller it's an empty controller demo is the controller name and in this demo controller we will access the model. So, it is in action results dot models, action results is my project name and demo controller. So, what I will do here first, I will create some data for the product type. So, that means I am creating a list, list of product type and I will give the name as products is equal to new list of product type and I will add some products details. Every product will have product ID and uh, name and uh, so price, I am adding some price, okay. And uh, I think we defined this decimal type, then it should be M, right, yeah. Now I am adding another product and we have uh, the product ID and name as some Nike shoe and price is equal to some price, okay, that is fine. So, M, right. Now, we created some products data. Now, I want my MVC application to provide this data to some other application so that it can be a mobile application or it can be another ASP application. If I want to reach broad range of devices, I want my data to reach broad range of devices, 
then provide data in a format which is native to those devices. And uh, of course, JSON and XML are the native formats which are understandable to every clients. So, now what we have to do is create an action result for this controller so that it can send this data in a JSON form. JSON is a JavaScript object notation form. So, how do we create an action result so that it can send this data in a JSON form? Let us see. So, public if your controller method have to return JSON formatted content, it should use JSON result. JSON result and I am defining the controller name, uh, action method name as uh, suppose products, products uh, data. Okay. What this products data has to return? Actually, it is uh, action result type is JSON result. If it is a JSON result, then it will return the data by using a helper method called JSON. JSON is a helper method which is used to send the data in a JSON format to response. So, what data it has to send? You need to provide the data. Data is actually present in products. Now, one important point you have to know here is whenever I request this action method, it is going to return the data in a JSON form. Data returned in a JSON form means actually it is serializing the data into the client mesh. When a user makes a GET request, then the data need to be serialized into the machine so that it is stored offline, we can use from offline. If any content has to be serialized on a GET request, then it requires some special permissions. So, JSON data will be serialized on GET request. In that case, whenever you are sending JSON formatted content to response, you have to define a JSON request behavior. Actually, the JSON request behavior is nothing but it specifies whether the data need to be serialized on GET request or not. That means, it specifies whether HTTP GET request from the client are allowed or not in order to serialize the JSON data. If you want to serialize the data on GET request, then we have to define JSON request behavior as allow GET. So, it is important to define the request behavior. JSON data is not just returned as a normal output to the response, actually it is serialized into the client machine. So, it is very important to mention the JSON request behavior. So, if JSON result is sending the data, it should allow on GET request. So, now we created an action result that returns the data in JSON form. How do we test the JSON result returned by this controller action method? Generally, in order to test any API requests, uh, any request that is returning data in JSON and XML form. So, better use uh, the tools, web debugging tools like Postman or Fiddler. Postman and Fiddler are the web debugging tools which are mostly used for uh, testing our APIs and verify whether the request is returned in a proper format or not. So, we will use these tools to test our JSON result any one of these tools. Postman is available as a plugin with uh, Chrome, you can download from the Chrome web store. Fiddler is uh, available with Telerik, you can download Fiddler also. So, let us see how do we test this. So, I will start my project first. So, in this project, we have a demo controller with uh, an action called products data that products data is going to return the data in a JSON form. Okay. Once we make a request to this application, I will copy the URL of this uh, application, copy that URL. And uh, in a new tab, I am opening chrome colon double slash apps and you can see these are some of the Chrome apps I am having on my machine. 
these are some of the apps I'm having on my machine and I have a postman app here you can click on that postman so this uh, postman app uh, will allow you to test your uh, requests and it will also show the data it is returned by that request okay now the postman tool is ready now I will uh, close this dialog and uh, let's go to the request here and uh, add the request that is the URL of our application in that our controller is demo and our action is uh, products uh, JSON that is the action name and uh, make sure that you are using the request here get and the URL you entered is correct that is what exactly returning the JSON data actually. Now click on the send button now it will make a request and it will get the data and return the data to the response. So initial here so controller name is demo and the action name is uh, products data. The action name is products data. So, we are making a request of uh, the controller name is uh, demo and the action name is products data. So, I am making the request for this products data and click on send. Now, you can see it returns the data in a JSON form. So, you can observe here the request that is returning the data in a JSON form, the product ID, name and price. JSON is just a JavaScript object notation form. It returns the data in JSON form. You may ask that what happens if we can test this on a browser. Generally, browser returns the JSON data. It depends on browser. For example, here I am accessing demo controller and uh, products data and you can see it returns that products data in a JSON form. Now later if you know any client side scripts, client side scripts, we can use those client side scripts like jQuery, AngularJS to consume this JSON data and uh, provide this JSON data to our application. So what is the advantage of this is uh, we can make use of AJAX callbacks and once data is there you can make request for the data, you can filter, sort and format the data. So, without continuously connecting with the data source, uh, communicating with the server every time. So, if I am testing the same in uh, another like uh, I am opening Internet Explorer browser, you can see in Internet Explorer browser when I try to make a request for this URL, you can observe it will prompt me a message at the bottom of the screen saying that do you want to open or save this products JSON so coming from this local host so I can click on save and uh, it is saved now I can open and it opens in a text file that means the data is now serialized and it is saved in a JSON file now how to access the JSON data and how to use the data that you can manage so, if you have any awareness on working with the client side scripts. So, later towards the end when we discuss about integration of uh, various client side scripts into jQuery and AngularJS into our MVC, we will see one example how we can uh, access the data from JSON and use the JSON data. So, as of now the intention of the JSON result is to provide data in a JSON format so that any client that can understand the data then it can use this JSON data. So advantage is the data is offline and you can avoid communication with the server every time if data is frequently used. So 
the action result, JSON result, what are the key points you need to understand? JSON re result will use a JSON request behavior. Request behavior. What is this JSON request behavior? It specifies whether HTTP GET requests are allowed or not in order to serialize the JSON data to response. So, this is what actually JSON result. So, in the action results, now we have discussed about view result, partial view result and JSON result. In the next session, we will discuss about another action result. Thank you. Mm -hmm.